If you got nothing to do, well I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these mints, cause it's life hacks for kids. Hi, I'm Sunny, and today's episode is Rad Road Trip Hacks. Today, my family is taking off for a road trip. Nothing but family, fun, the open road, and seven hours of... Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I'm hungry! Of that? Well, fear not. With my Rad Road Trip Hacks, vacation starts as soon as you buckle up. First step to a happy trip is Well-Fed Travelers, presenting Sunny's Snack Shaker. For this, you'll need a mason jar and lid, a juice or milk carton with a cap and spout, a marker, scissors, hot glue, and some snacks like trail mix. Carefully open the top of the carton like this. Take the ring from the mason jar lid. Line up the ring so the spout is near the middle. Trace it with the marker. Cut it out on the inside of the line so that it's slightly smaller than the lid. Now, hot glue it to the inside of the ring. Fill the jar with your favorite snack. Screw on the lid and cap and you're ready to hit the road. From hungry to happy. Car trip problem number two, boredom. Luckily, watch out. These are the best boredom busters ever, but watch boredom quickly turn to anger when this happens. Keep that anger in check and those earbuds and cords under control with my cool cat case. For this, you'll need an old sunglass case, paint markers, black and pink felt, hair clips, hot glue, and scissors. Cut two cat ear shapes out of the black felt. Then cut two slightly smaller ones from the pink. pink triangles onto the black and attach them to the top of the case like this. Draw a cat face with the paint markers on the front of the sunglasses case. Wind up your earbuds and secure with a hair clip. Do the same with your charger. Now slip them inside and you're good to go. Bored and busted thanks to this cool cat. Finally, nothing makes the time pass in the car faster than a nice nap, but it's so hard to get comfortable. Keep those travelers well rested with my belt buddy. For this, you'll need a small pillow, a washcloth, scissors, hot glue, and Velcro. Cut your washcloth in half. Take one piece and fold it in thirds. Make sure it's wide enough to hold your phone. Once you've got the idea, glue it closed. Put a line of glue at the bottom and fold it to seal. Make sure you glue the entire bottom closed. Glue the back of the cloth to the front of the pillow to create a cell phone pocket. Next, glue the other portion of the washcloth to the back of the pillow on a diagonal. Now, take a piece of Velcro the length of the washcloth and attach it to the bottom of the washcloth flap. Attach the matching piece of Velcro to the other side of the pillow in line with the first piece. This flap goes around your seatbelt. Remember, seatbelts are for safety, so have a parent check to make sure that you're still wearing yours properly. Nap hacked. This road trip is ready to roll. Hi, I'm Sunny, and today's episode is Restaurant Hack Olympics. Going out to dinner with your family can be super fun. Waiting for your dinner to get to the table can be super boring. But my restaurant hacks turn dinner time into winter time. First up, my Tic Tac Totally Fun Hack. All you'll need 
are four straws and two colors of sweetener packets. Lay your straws in the shape of a tic-tac-toe board. Now use your sweetener packets instead of X's and O's to play the game. I win! Next up in the Restaurant Hack Olympics, the Great Wrapper Worm Race. For this event, you'll need two straws with paper wrappers, a placemat or butter knife for the finish line, and some water. Take off the wrapper of your straw by scrunching it all the way to the bottom. Do the same with the other straw. Now place the two worms a couple inches away from the finish line. To race, use your straws to slowly drop water onto the wrapper worms. On your marks, get set, go! First one to reach the finish line is a winner. Time to shake it up with my next hack, the balance challenge. Sprinkle a tiny pile of salt onto the table. For the challenge, see how long it takes to balance your shaker. Yes! Yes! Ah. Food's almost here. Time for my bonus hack, table toppy hacky hockey. For this, you'll need two bendy straws, a bottle cap, salt and pepper shakers for the goals, and ketchup and mustard for the goals as well. Make sure your mustard doesn't fall. Set up the goals across the table from each other. Place the bottle cap in the center of the table. This will be your hacky hockey puck. Bend straws to make hockey sticks. Time to play. Try to blow your puck into the other person's goal. Winner, winner! It's time for dinner! Hope you enjoyed Restaurant Hack Olympics! Hi, I'm Sunny, and today's episode is Sunny Sun Summertime Lawn Fun. Sunny here with the Sunny Sun Summertime News. This just in. Get out! Outside, I mean. The weather's great. Grab a friend and celebrate. Let's start your lawn time fun time with my first hack, my jean bag bean bag bean toss. For this, you'll need a couple pairs of old jeans or jean shorts, beans or rice, scissors, hot glue, four terracotta plant saucers, paint, and a paintbrush. Cut out the back pockets from the jeans. Make sure to cut both layers. Next, paint a design on the pocket. After that dries, fill the pocket with rice or beans. Hot glue the open edge shut. Next, paint the center of the saucers white. Then paint the rim a different color. When they dry, paint numbers on the center of the saucer. The largest saucer will be 10 points. Then the next size down will be 20 points, then 30, and then finally, the smallest size will be 40 points. Bingo! I mean, Jingo! Sorry to interrupt your sunny sun summertime fun time, but I have an important emergency update. Apparently, half of all summer days are being taken up by something called summer nights. No need to fear, I'll show you how to make nighttime the right time for summer lawn fun with this hack, my Let's Glow Bowling. For this, you'll need six tall clear plastic bottles, glow sticks, a wiffle ball, and hot glue. Hot glue a glow stick standing straight up in the inside of the cap.
Once it dries, crack and shake the glow stick to make it glow. Then screw on the cap. Now crack a few glow sticks and feed them inside the wiffle ball. Set up the bottles like pins and you're ready to bowl. Glow bowling, it's perfect for the day. And just right for night. And I'm back with another emergency update. A huge, warm, glowing object has pulled the Earth into its orbit. This object, known as the sun, is thought to be our friend and will add to our sunny sun summertime fun. However, to beat its warmth, I suggest this next hack, my water wonderfully terrific target game. For this, you'll need golf tees, a rectangular piece of styrofoam, ping pong balls, squirt guns, markers, and colorful tape. First, decorate the rectangular styrofoam block with colorful tape. Next, poke six golf tees a few inches apart across the top of the styrofoam block. Now write different point values on the balls like this. Then balance the ping pong balls on top of the golf tees. Take turns shooting them off with the water guns. <laughs> well, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> but now get out there and soak up your own summertime fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey hackers, before I begin, I want you to know that you are doing the following hacks at your own risk, and I am not responsible for any detentions or groundings that may come as a result of these hacks. If you're like me, sometimes it seems like class goes on forever, and that's why I've created some hacks to bust class boredom. Sometimes you need to get an urgent message to a friend, and sometimes a substitute teacher really needs a spitball to keep them on their toes. Whatever your reason is, this first hack will do the trick. Let's make my Cata Pencil Pult. For this you'll need a small Kleenex box, a pen, three rubber bands, and four pencils. And at least one of them has to be sharpened. Put two of your pencils next to each other. Wrap one rubber band around the center and one at the end. Grab your sharpened pencil. Draw a one inch line down about an inch from the side of the box. Stick your sharpened pencil through the box at the bottom of the line. Push the pencil all the way through to pierce the other side. Repeat this at the top of the line. Place your sharpened pencil through the bottom pencil hole and up through the top. Now attach your rubber banded pencils to the center of that pencil. Then slide it all the way through to the bottom pencil hole on the other side. Take your fourth pencil and stick it through the top two pencil holes. Now it's ready for action. And shoot, tally-ho! Wow! Catapults in class aren't exactly discreet, so if you want to have some fun with less chance of getting caught, let's make my mini paper frog hopper. For this you'll need origami paper, or you can use regular paper cut to a square. Grab a piece of paper, fold it in half, now fold the left corner to the right side, creating a sharp point on the top right corner. Unfold it. Fold the right corner to the left side. Unfold it again. Fold back to where the two diagonal creases meet, the center of the X, and unfold. Using the creases as guides, form a triangle onto each other. Fold the bottom rectangle in half toward the triangle. Take the two corners of the triangle and fold them up at an angle to create the arms. Fold the two sides of the rectangle so they meet in the center. Fold the rectangle in half toward the triangle. 
fold the left and right corners of the rectangle down and meet at the center to start making the back legs. Now take the left and right corners of the legs and fold them down at a slant, just like the arms. Fold the frog legs up, creasing at the center of the X where the arms and legs meet. Fold about half of the legs back to form a spring. Let's hop to it! Woo! My last hack is perfect for the daydreamer in us all. Let's make my hats and faces go in places hack. For this, you'll need template that you can find in the description box below, color markers, sticky notes, and scissors. Take a screenshot of the picture you want. Now boost the brightness on your phone. Next, stick a sticky note on top of the screen. Trace the image with a marker. Remove from your phone and color it in. Cut it out and have fun! Now to find my victim. Hmm. <gasps> and there you have it! Three hacks that take the snooze out of social studies, math, English, or whatever subject you're being subjected to. Mm -hmm.